My name is uh, Željko Savo, and today I will be talking about camera deflection and image correction for application in ADAS algorithms. Uh, today's presentation is uh, divided into a few chapters. First, I will give a short introduction and a little bit of background information about homography. Then I will talk about proposed algorithm. After that, I will talk about ADAS implementation, show the evaluation results, and give some short conclusion about today's presentation. So let's begin. Uh, modern, modern vehicles are usually equipped with a advanced driver assistance system known, uh, known as ADAS. Their operation is based on various sensors such as radar, lidar, ultrasonic sensors, infrared sensors, cameras, and many others. Uh, since I used camera for uh, my paper, I will give some introduction about the usage of camera. Uh, usually they are used in like the lane detection algorithms uh, where they process only a part of the image where the lane can be found. Uh, they assume that the longitudinal pavement markings can, be only, uh, can only appear in image with certain angle intervals. However, if camera deflection occurs during the time performance of plane detection algorithms can de deteriorate over time due to these assumptions. Uh, well, uh, the homography matrix is a three by three matrix that describes the mapping of a set of points lying on the plane of a scene from one view of camera to another. Homography matrix can be calculated in various ways uh, and I use uh, a calculation method with image pairs and set of equations. Uh, a proposed solution can be divided into two parts as can be seen on this uh, diagram. Uh, in the first part, uh, reference and test image uh, are captured. Uh, those uh, images were filtered by a color so that the four key points in the reference and test image could be detected. And the whole pro process was done so that the homograph matrix could be calculated. On the second part, uh, the calculated homograph matrix was used uh, for mapping of a uh, set of points. Uh, first, a uh, new test image was captured, then uh, image formation using a homography matrix was done. Uh, in this case, set of points that is mapped, mapped are pixels, or maybe better to say image elements. Uh, and at the very end, uh, since some of uh, image elements went missing after that kind of transformation, uh, reconstruction, reconstruction of uh, missing image elements was done by using the nearest neighbor interpolation. On this slide, uh, uh, I have a few images. Uh, uh, image A is a reference image. Image B is a test image. Uh, both images were captured with automotive camera. Uh, and uh, this image here uh, shows illustration uh, how that uh, whole process looked. Uh, I uh, had some kind of vehicle model where I placed a uh, camera. Uh, vehicle model was uh, positioned uh, on a certain uh, place uh, and uh, image, uh, images were captured. Uh, later, uh, I just moved the camera to with some deflection and recaptured the image again. Uh, that's how I got the test images that were used. Uh, uh, reference and test images were filtered using HSP color model, uh, model and upper and lower values of uh, red, yellow, green, and blue color. Uh, on previous slide, as you can see, I have a four uh, key points. Yellow is not seen very good, but if you can see my mouse, you can see where it should be. So I had red, yellow, uh, green, and blue uh, key points that I detected. Uh, and uh, I use uh, these values from the table uh, to find them uh, on the pictures. So uh, for red, I use these values of HSV. Uh, for yellow this, for green this, and blue this. Uh, after uh, finding uh, those key points, I got uh, bitmap images. Uh, image A is for red, uh, image, C, uh, image B is for uh, yellow, image uh, C is for green, and image D is for blue color. Uh, 
detected colors are represented uh, by uh, white color on those images or the value 255 and uh, all other co colors are represented with black color or a uh, value zero. Uh, on these images, we can see a final uh, product of uh, my solution. Uh, Image A is a reference image, image B is a test image before compensation, and image C is a test image after compens compensation and reconstruction of missing uh, elements. Uh, well, uh, I created ADAS implementation for my solution. It was done on ADAS Alpha 4 that has a TDA2XX socks on it. Uh, so it is shortly for system on the chip. Uh, it was uh, programmed with uh, Vision SDK software development kit and C programming language. Uh, on the image right, uh, you can see a use case diagram that was created uh, for the correction of camera deflection and construction of missing image elements. Uh, since it was uh, created with Vision SDK, it uses links and chains. Uh, to explain that, uh, that, I will shortly go through uh, this use case. Uh, so, uh, for example, uh, uh, we have a select link. Uh, select link is connected with VPA2 and VPA1 link, and it's uh, connected with Q1 and Q0 chain. And so, basically, how my solution works. Firstly, it uh, captures a uh, video signal from an uh, automotive camera. Uh, since uh, it was used uh, with other cell phone board, I had to use two cameras and I had to split those signals. So that's why I'm using split and select. Uh, one uh, video, signal, uh, video signal from one camera is sent uh, to the no link. Uh, so it's basically not used. And the second uh, video signal is used for a uh, uh, correction and uh, reconstruction of uh, missing pixels. So uh, VPA, VPA uh, one uh, link, it does some uh, video pre-processing like uh, changing the resolution of image and uh, changing the color formats. Then uh, algorithm warp image link uh, basically uh, corrects the image and reconstructs the missing pixel. And at the end, uh, display CF link uh, shows us a corrected image onto display. Uh, I have done evolution of the proposed algorithm. Uh, evolution was done on PC and on, uh, and on others. On PC, I uh, use a Python programming language and OpenCV library. And on others, it was done with uh, C and Vision SDK. Uh, what have I basically done? I calculated uh, absolute difference between vertical and horizontal lines from the images, uh, and I uh, put them in table. So as you can see, for uh, small uh, deflections, uh, I got so-so uh, results. Uh, not great, not terrible, but very good results. And for bigger deflections, I got uh, very huge uh, differences. For example, for 15 degrees, I got five degrees uh, difference, which is not very good. Uh, well, in conclusion, uh, the automotive camera deflection from reference position can be a practical problem that arises during the vehicle operation. Uh, approach uh, that I had was based on chromography and estimation and nearest neighbor interpolation. Uh, the solution was uh, implemented for the other alpha board and after implementation, it was done evaluation that shows the certain correction of captured image. Uh, well, uh, solution is not ideal and it requires a lot of work. Uh, it still need to be done uh, some code optimization uh, and I think that that will help with a better result. That's it. So if anyone has any questions, please ask. Okay, thank you for the presentation, uh, Mr. Jericho. Okay, so I have a simple question. So 
uh, how long uh, does it uh, take uh, to uh, correct uh, a single test image? Uh, well, uh, long enough, uh, so it's not applicable for uh, real-time usage. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, some code optimi optimization should be done before uh, real-time usage. It's slow, it takes uh, around a few seconds, I think uh, four or five, so it's not really good. Mm -hmm. Okay.